So it's been a couple of months since the last training series on this channel and you'll remember that led up to my April Paris Marathon where I managed to get 255. This training block and this training series is going to be slightly different because we're not training for a marathon, we're training for 100 miles in the Alps in France at the end of August. So we're training for UTMB in Chamonix. I'm really excited about it, I hope you are too because we're going to have an amazing journey leading up to the 100 mile race in Chamonix in France at the end of August. If you are, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we have 10 episodes of this training series to come in the lead up to Chamonix. So training for a 100 mile race in the Alps is a little bit different to training for a flat road marathon in Paris. For the Paris training block we were focusing mainly on speed and mileage. For the Alps, we're focusing on mileage, but elevation rather than speed. So we need to climb, climb, climb. And you may ask why I'm doing a flat run then. Well, I had a hill session yesterday. I've got another hill session tomorrow. So today is an easy run. I am still gonna do some speed sessions. So Wednesday night, I'll still be doing a treadmill interval session. And I'll quite often do a fast park run on a Saturday morning, but that will be it. And the other session, quite often I was doing three speed sessions for the Paris Marathon training block. So that other session will be a hill interval session. Those of you that watch the channel regularly will know I do a hill session on a Tuesday and a Thursday on the treadmill. It's called the Film My Run 500. We climb 500 meters of elevation gain whilst putting the treadmill at 12%. But we also need to train for the downhills because in Chamonix, in the Alps, the downhills are what trash your legs more than the uphills. So we need to train for that. So that's why I'm also gonna be doing a once a week hill session where we do uphill and down. Now I know many of you are interested in following Victoria's journey as well. She will be running the OCC in Chamonix at the end of August. And so we'll be following her training as well as we move along through my training block so you can see how we're both getting on. So how am I going to structure this next training block? Well, we've got 10 weeks until Chamonix. Well, actually nine because we're right at the start of week two. So we've done one week and anyone who watches this channel knows that I do like my 100K weeks. <laughs> so we're splitting the block into eight weeks of training and two weeks of taper. And those eight weeks will consist of four weeks at 100K and then four weeks of build. Now the snag in all this is we do have the North Downs Way 100 stuck right in the middle of that. So on August the 5th, Victoria and I will be continuing our Centurion Grand Slam series. We've already done the Thames Path 100 and the South Downs Way 100. So now we've got the North Downs Way 100 as the next in the series and we need to get that done. So it's just the way it's worked out. The reality of the situation is that I am doing a 100 mile race in order to train for a 100 mile race. And Victoria is doing a 100 mile race in order to train for a 56K race. But with three and a half, nearly four weeks of time between the North Downs Way and our runs in Chamonix, I'm hopeful that we have enough time to recover. At least with these eight to 10 weeks of training, we will be fit and hopefully not injured. So if you're finding the video useful, helpful or interesting, please do click the like button, subscribe to the channel and we'll be here for the whole 10 weeks of training up to Chamonix. Really appreciate your company on the journey. Please click that subscribe button now. So let's have a look at how the first week of training went on the road to Chamonix. We started on Monday with a nice easy 10K on Zwift. We followed that with a double day on Tuesday. So the Film My Run 500 climbing session in the morning and then a nice easy session in the evening on Zwift. All treadmill so far this week. And we continued on the treadmill on Wednesday with the first interval session of the training block. Uh, we did an under over session. So uh, over was 600 meters at just over threshold and the under was 400 meters just under threshold. And if you're wondering what threshold is, uh, that just means it's kind of the pace 
pace that you can hold for around about an hour of running. So what pace can you hold for an hour? That is your threshold pace. Another way to describe threshold is if you were to go faster than threshold pace, your body would be producing more lactic acid than it can get rid of, which would lead to that feeling of really heavy, tired legs where you feel you have to slow down. More treadmill on Thursday, back on the hill climbing session in the morning. And then I did my Bag That Badge series on Zwift on Thursday evening. So a double day Thursday, but again, every day this week so far on the treadmill. However, come Friday, we did finally manage to get outside 10 miles on the hills. So a little bit of elevation on the South Downs, low heart rate running, 10 miles on the hills Friday morning. Double day Friday, we did do another 10K in the evening on Zwift. It may have been 9K, 9K. So another double day on Saturday. I don't know how many double days that is this week. Three, four, park run in the morning. Nice and easy with Victoria, no racing because we had a race in the afternoon. So a nice easy park run first thing. And then in the afternoon, we were running for our club. So Worthing Harriers, part of the West Sussex Fun Run League. We did a four and a half miler and that was a race that was high heart rate, max effort running on Saturday afternoon. Now I do have a little bit of an admission to make. Uh, on Sunday, I was supposed to do a long run with some friends, but I stayed up until 4.30 a.m. on Sunday morning to uh, watch the live stream of the Western States 100. So pleased and proud of Tom Evans for winning his first Western States 100 in the fourth ever fastest time. Congratulations to Tom, absolutely amazing. Uh, but that is the reason that I didn't wake up in time on Sunday morning. So Sunday was a 15K hill session. So I ran down to a, a nice big hill that I know and I did five sets up and down that hill, 400 meters of elevation gain. Uh, that was Sunday's run in place of the long run that I was supposed to do. Okay, that's my 10K run done. It's time for me to have a dip in this lovely water behind me. Uh, talking about heart rate, you might think that I measure my heart rate using my watch on my wrist. I don't. Whenever I'm training in a training block, um, I do like to keep an eye on my heart rate. So I am wearing my new heart rate monitor, my Garmin HRM Pro Plus, uh, which is the white heart rate monitor. It is absolutely superb. Recommend if you want to train by heart rate that you get one of those. And the affiliate link for that will be in the description below. And that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you did and we'll see you on the start line next time. Bye bye.